Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I pray that you guys are doing well. This um, video is sort of a continuation of part two to the dream that I shared on the community page, on my community page. And um, if you guys recall, in the community post, I spoke of the dream where um, I could hear my mom prophesying and she was saying that the right guy will come in the right way. And we, yeah, we tied that all up and God gave us the interpretation. But there was a second part to the dream. The second part was that as my mom spoke, right, as my mom prophesied, I saw a worship leader that is very well known. He was like kind of behind me. And as my mom was speaking, he laid his hand on me. He laid his hand on me and I could feel the presence of God stronger. I could feel the presence of God actually moving through my body. But he laid his hand on me with one hand and the other hand, he touched my hand right? He touched my hand with his other hand. And as he touched my hand, I got a little um, distracted. I got a little distracted and I started wondering, like, why is he touching my hand? Like, Lord, is this the one? <laughs> Lord, is this the guy that is coming the right way? But I remember in the dream, me, me saying he's got a wife and kid because my cousin and I last year were actually just speaking about him. And I was like, he's got a wife and kids. So what is happening? So I woke up from the dream feeling very disturbed and actually wondering what is it that the Lord was trying to communicate to me. And the message that the Lord is trying to communicate is that we should not date the assignment. Do not date. Do not get involved in any way with the assignment. Meaning that at this particular time, the season, there are going to be people that we are going to encounter. There are going to be people that we are going to meet. When he touched my hand, right, he was providing comfort for me. He was giving me comfort. And the Lord is saying that there are people that are going to come our way, that they are going to be our comforters. The Lord is going to use them in such a way that they are going to comfort us. And the confirmation that I got from that is that after having this dream, the next day, as I was just resting and sleeping, I kept hearing, I kept seeing the words, N-A-N-U-M. And I was pronouncing it in Portuguese. I was saying, não, não, não. And I was like, okay, let me, like, save this and check it out when I wake up in the morning. And when I went to check what it actually meant, it took me back to the Bible verse, um, to the Bible book of Nahum, right? And we know that the word Nahum means comforter. The word Nahum means comforter. And that was a confirmation to the dream that I had gotten, that we are going to encounter, get people um, that are going to connect to us, people that are going to be of help to us in a specific uh, way or manner. And not only, also people that God is going to bring that we are going to help that God wants to use us, you know, to um, help them in a specific way. And what God is just highlighting is that this is an assignment. Do not date the assignment. In the dream, in the dream, I kind of was just like, okay, maybe he is it. Maybe he is the one that is coming the right way. But when I thought of everything that God had spoken concerning my spouse, when I thought of everything concerning this person's life, I was like, no, there is no way. There is no way that it can be 
this person. And this is why God just wants to remind us that in 2022, there are assignments that we have to complete. And with these assignments, there are going to be divine connections. And these connections are going to be so divine that we can easily mistake them and think that they are our partners and think that there is something that these connections are going to be so divine and they are going to bless you in such a great and mighty way that you are actually going to feel like maybe this is it. But God is saying in everything, seek him in everything, you know, find out, require of God, because there are assignments that have to be completed. And in these assignments being complete, God is going to bring people of the opposite sex. And these people are going to bring comfort. These people are going to bring some sort of protection to you, to what you have to do. And we can easily mistaken and think that they are the one. We can easily mistaken and think that this is what God has spoken all along. But God is saying it is not. Just do not, do not, do not, do not date the assignment. Do not fall for the assignment. There is an assignment that needs to be done. There is an assignment that needs to be complete. And two have to come together to complete this. So guard your heart. Protect your heart. Do not let your emotions and your feelings have the best of you. Be in control and just complete the assignment. Allow this person to do what they have to do in your life. And if you are the one that has to complete the assignments, if you are the one that has to initiate or do the assignment in someone else's life, just know that you are being used by God, that you are a vessel. Do not take it any step further. Do not try and allow your emotions to take control. Do not be led by your feelings. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Do not cross the lines that have been set before you. Do not cross over those borders. Do not go over those boundaries. The Lord will set boundaries up. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will help your your heart be guarded as long as you obey and as long as you do what it is that he is saying. So that's this is just the quick word that I wanted to share with you guys based on the dream that I had gotten. Do not date the assignment. Do not get too involved with the assignment. Do not take this assignment any further than what God has told you to. Do not get entangled (laughs) with the assignment. This is what I wanted to share with you guys. So, umbeju, stay blessed. Bye-bye.